is being sur- they had two people on him as he's stepping out the house. Like, I don't understand. Like, I believe if that person is, why is he let out? I do not understand why is he let out. If you know the guy is dangerous, you know he's going to cause this, and you've got two guys on him. In order for me to not prove them wrong and stand up, I have to go and be like, yes, let's go and kill them. You're perverted because my teacher is Allah and his messenger. Your teacher is Bush and George Bush and Tony Blair because you're saying they're doing it to us. We'll do the same. <laughs> As we know, there was an attack, terror attack that happened in Streatham um, yesterday. And what we want to do is, like, we want to go into this person's mind, yeah? Because there's copycat attacks happening, yeah? And they're all carrying these fake vests. I think even before that, we should give our condolences to... to yes, of course, 100%. 100%. The family of, of those affected. Yes. And, and, and to, to be honest, the community as a whole, really. Yes, yes, yeah. definitely, you know? And uh, for some reason, he picked uh, an a, a area which there is a lot of Muslims in there mm. as well. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised of some casualties with Muslims. Allah. It's regardless, but I'm Allah. saying, you know, because these people, they're, they're mm. on such a level of uh, fanaticism that it, I don't think they see Muslim moments. To them, all of yeah. us, we are all in the same camp. We, we yeah, are, I mean, look, yeah. a lot of the time, mm. in, my, in my course online, Islam Plus, um, yeah. it's called Extremism and Islam. It's about to be released soon, inshallah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Please? So Extremism and Islam is a textual approach. I go through mm. um, the ideological underpinnings or theological justifications okay. as to why many of these people do what they do mm. um, the course is divided into two parts the first part uh, deals with things like for example um, um, do all Muslims uh, are all Muslims commanded to fight and kill the non-believers the non-Muslims yeah. that's a common thing this is probably what he believed as well Allah and knows best yeah. many of them do especially ISIS and Al-Qaeda and, and the like uh, and I deal with other uh, texts and things that are used by these people to promote and to justify their belief their, their discourse mm. such as the verse of the sword or the verses yeah. of the sword uh, also the hadith for Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Where he says I've been ordered to command To fight the people mm-hmm. Until they believe That there's no yes. worship Except Allah mm-hmm. So on and so forth And a lot of these kind of things The second part of the course uh, it, it really concerns Muslims um, Themselves mm-hmm. uh, So it's an intra-Muslim Kind of discussion And really The whole discussion Is centered around takfir yes. And the concept of takfir Or excommunication And taking one And rendering someone Outside the fold of Islam mm-hmm. Because it's used by A lot of the extremist groups As a tool of justification to yeah. justify spilling the blood of a Muslim, mm. uh, let alone a Muslim, we deal with that the previous course, uh, the previous part of the course, and so inshallah, it'll be coming out soon, hopefully next week or even before. So that's an left. online platform, Salam Plus, which you can come and sign up for free. Salamplus.org.uk and learn, inshallah, yeah. inshallah. If you guys, if there's anyone watching this and sadly has been brainwashed by thinking that carrying out these attacks on innocent civilians is going to somehow no. help Islam, you're doing an absolute disservice to us. So. You're uh, misrepresenting our religion. You are actually maybe a part reason why our religion is being attacked. So, Absolutely. you know, no please, if you can all. watch this, yeah. inshallah, and maybe hopefully come to your senses yeah. and um, not take innocent lives. Sure. So let's just quickly react to um, this video from ITV News. Two men in plain clothes pointing guns. One swaps his beanie hat for a police cap. It's now clear there are undercover officers. And lying before them on a high street in South London is the suspect. Gone, gone, twice. <laughs> Strapped to his body, what looks like a device. It's a hoax. The police clear the streets. Then more arrive. They're there within minutes because the suspect they've just killed had been under their watch and this is the end of a police surveillance operation. Several people had been stabbed by the suspect. Some were treated by passers-by who saw the horror on a Sunday afternoon. Another person was stabbed down here as well. A massive bright orange trauma helicopter landed on the common right in front of us and then there were uh, police and ambulances uh, driving about and we had assumed that there had been a car accident and that that's what all the things, all the people were there for. And then we walked up this road just here and came to sort of about there and uh, there were armed police everywhere, there were people everywhere. Um, 
there aren't police look like they were crouching down over someone I don't know if that's what they were doing um, and then they started shouting at us all to get back um, and just pushing us further down the road ITV News understands the suspect was 21-year-old Sudesh Aman, who was released from prison one week ago. He was jailed in 2018 after admitting 13 terror offences and expressing a desire to carry out his own terror attack. So, so why? Okay, this is the question that first needs to be asked before we go into his or go into this guy's mind. Um, so, like, how were they? How were they letting out this guy when he's mm. clearly been? He's been has said that he's wanted to carry out carry out this attack. The thing is, you don't know if he, if he, if he said this whilst in prison, whilst mm. doing his sentence. Okay. And a lot of the times, I mean, I, when I was in prison, mm. I saw mm. all sorts of offenders. In, okay, once you're in prison, people are going to think, okay, what oh, are yeah, you talking so about? I was in prison. For those who don't know my past, go on mm. to um, mm. watch my podcast with Dili Hussain yes. on the Blood Brothers podcast. Yeah. Uh, also, we did one at Salam. Yeah. So it's called. I used yeah. to be radical. So I, I was convicted previously yeah. back in 2000. It was about 12 years ago, okay. 2008, mm. for terror offence. Mm. Uh, I was initially planning to go to Afghanistan, mm. and I discuss it in those podcasts. The reasons why my psychology at the time. So, but maybe so people don't want to go to that podcast. Let's let's just quick, <laughs> just just a brief yeah. like. Let's sure. ask yourself like what <clears throat> what led you to take that path because you're not coming from this because this guy wants yeah. anyone's blood. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. you was more of um yeah. like invading forces absolutely and invading this is forces op- oppression on the muslims mm. like i felt that the muslims mm. were being victimized or being attacked mm. and no one was there to defend them no one was there to mm. yeah. to protect them protect their honor so on and so forth yeah. Yeah. um and I, and I found a logical justification mm. to allow myself to travel and to permit myself mm. to travel mm. and to to try and um mm. and uh, take and join the, the armed forces there and so yeah. on and so forth yeah. that was it in a nutshell but what happened i mean the, you didn't make it obviously you got Arrested, of course, yeah. So I, I mean, well, not, well, yeah. When I was in Turkey, and then I came yeah. back, and mm. I got arrested. And mm. The rest is history, right? Yeah. Um, now, with me, I, I saw, I saw, I saw the oppression that was taking place, mm. and I felt that it, there was no one there to support, that, protect the Muslims, protect the rights of the Muslims. Mm. And I found that I became slowly alienated from society, from the yeah. mainstream Muslims. I felt that, that no one was talking. I felt our scholars weren't talking about it, mm. and everyone was quiet. And and I found I'm obviously I, I kind of mentioned there, but I'm a person who, when I see injustices, I can't, mm. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I can't deal with it, right? Mm. Well, look at a lot of people. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people like, like this yeah. one. I think it's a good character. Uh, mm. How it has to be channeled in the right way, mm. um, and so I, I, I secluded myself online. Mm. I found a safe space. I found people mm. that I could communicate with online, mm. and we yeah. know that. And there's a lot of research to pr- suggest, although there's nothing conclusive. But mm. online, if it doesn't promote extremism or promote the radicalization mm. of people, it, mm. it definitely fosters it. Mm. So it creates a safe environment. Yes. And this is research that's that just coming out, but yeah. I experienced it myself, right? So I can, mm. I can, I can, I can testify to that. Um, and I and I found that I so, slowly started to speak to like my people, people, treaties, books were exchanged, and people mm. espousing these kind of views were exchanged, so on and so forth. Mm. I still at that time I wouldn't say that I became a what's known now as a, a takfiri. I wouldn't make takfir on everyone and mm. all the Muslims. What I does takfir mean? Like, excommunication. I wouldn't say that you're Muslim is a non-Muslim, and mm. even and you justify their blood that way. Exactly. So I never kind of yeah. fell into that. Nor did I fall into the extremes of what this person was either. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm. It was literally a case for me that I, I believed it was justified to go out there and to join the forces to fight against rebellion army mm. and that was it and i think it's a blessing from allah i didn't get that far mm. uh because to be honest with you if i did get that far then you know allah mm. knows best right mm. um we see the results mm. of, of this kind of dangerous ideology yeah and so that's my show from the nutshell i don't want to take away from the viewers let them go watch the we'll put the links to the to the podcast okay. inshallah. all right so